Yes, we're beginning the uh, program beginning uh, out of our Manila hub on July 1st. And then after that, we'll be rolling out to our, to our other hubs. Thank you, Ms. Jane. Uh, second question here. Sorry. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Jane from Business Center. Uh, this question is for Mr. Lance, City Pacific. Uh, City Pacific is UNICEF's first airline partner in Southeast Asia for Change for Good. So, what inspired and motivated the company to support this cause and partner with UNICEF? I think part of uh, Cebu Pacific's um, logo is, is, is really to, to make flying available for everyone. Meaning, it's all about creating opportunities for 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 all people. And one of the advocacies, advocacies of, of Cebu Pacific has traditionally been education. And we were focused on trying to find the educational programs to, to enhance whatever we were already doing with a lot of NGOs. And as, as we explored further, we, we discovered that a lot of a lot of people, especially children, don't even have the opportunity for that education because their first, their early years are already already uh, uh, deprived. I think we all spoke very clearly about the effects of uh, stunting and, and the like. So uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, met uh, our friends from UNICEF and allowed us to, to work with such a caring and credible organization that, that will really focus on the roots of, of, of giving opportunity to to, to all children to eventually reach uh, uh, success and, and, and achieving the potential of the future. It all starts with the first 1,000 years. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Coming, sir, Lance. Um, sir, you discussed earlier how Cebu Pacific is also advocating disaster response. Why is this important for Cebu Pacific? I think, first of all, we the uh, Philippines is itself in a country that, that, that is prone to, to suffer from many uh, calamities because of our archipelagic nature and, and where we are in the, uh, near the typhoon uh, belt. And, uh, we also have a responsibility being a public utility that we do have the means to, to provide the, the flights. And, and so uh, we, we've always worked with uh, a lot of relief organizations, uh, including the Papuso uh, Foundation. Uh, and with UNICEF during Yolanda, uh, now we wanted to really make sure that this uh, that this program was was, was more uh, concrete and, and that we we we'd be able to help the, the first responders from from uh, UNICEF in, in the event of any uh, emergencies or calamities. Not only in delivering goods and cargo, but even more particularly delivering the skills that they have as a, as an institution. Thank you, Larissa. Next question. Hi, I'm Arnie from Asian Dragon Magazine. Uh, my question is for Dr. Will of UNICEF. So I just have to ask, um, a lot of people are uh, tend to underestimate or aren't aware of the importance of the first 1,000 days in a child's life. So can you please tell us again how important it is and how big its impact is in a child's life? So this is the latest evidence we have in the health and nutrition area and this is really globally something that recently has been discovered that if you invest in the 1000 days you can really save by having golden opportunity in this 1000 days and so it means that it starts even before pregnancy in pregnancy after pregnancy if we have the right interventions the right tools if we have the right interventions in those 1,000 days, then we can make sure that these children are safer, have more you know, work capacity later on as adults, have a different capacity in terms of their mental health as well. And we can also uh, avert some of, these, some of the diseases that we have later on in life, even diabetes, for instance, can be uh, prevented. So it's really this 1,000 days, and I think here with Civil Pacific and UNICEF, we are really on top of the newest evidence in this area. And this is why it's so exciting and it's so new. And especially in the Philippines, we have the potential you know, having so many children in the country and also having inequities uh, that we can make sure that every child is being reached in this country. Thank you, sir. We have a question here. 
Hi, I'm John from Good News Manila. Uh, my question is for Ms. Lauder. Uh, we mentioned about the 1,000 uh, uh, days program. Um, how, my question is, do you have any specific target areas in the Philippines where the program would focus on or where the beneficiaries would be? Thank you. Um, yes, there are specific areas where we have identified very high levels of something. It so also happens that those areas are also where mothers find it difficult to find a clinic to go to. They live too far away or you know, they're not available even. It's also areas where it's difficult for parents to bring their children for vaccinations and so on. So all of this combined, uh, have, we have found target areas. So definitely Zindanao is one such target area. There are also areas in the Visayas, but also in the southern Luzon where there are very high stunting rates. So we have certain target areas, yes, but it is a, a program that will be carried out in the whole country because there are pockets of this everywhere. Uh, but in terms of focus, it will be in the now, certain areas in, in the Messiahs and Southern Thank you, ma'am. We have another question here. Hello, my name is Jennifer. Mr. Gary, B and N, how can ordinary Filipinos do they share for children in need? Aside from supporting Civil Pacific and UNICEF's change their recognition, <clears throat> what can they do to help? Uh, well, one would be a champion for children. Sign up and become a champion for children would be number one, uh, which of course you'd get uh, you just have sent out letters where you get uh, monthly updates. You're also supporting several different programs under UNICEF, such as 1,000 Days of Life. Um, another would be supporting for your diary B's new project, and I have the upcoming Heroes for Children run, uh, which would cater, of course, to a different market as well. But there are a lot of activities in which everyone can come together and uh, make a change. And, uh, I think what is of most importance at the moment, of course, is the 1,000 days of life. And uh, what I wanted to add earlier was um, this is a great opportunity for Filipino passengers because the moment that they see that envelope available, it's automatically an opportunity for them to be able to make a change and basically give a child a better chance at the start of life. So this is the best thing possible now the change for both on I think that uh, also UNICEF, I mean, everybody is basically online today. And UNICEF has given a lot of information already online on Twitter uh, that as to how people can get involved. Because it's going to be, it might be something that people just want to help in general. You know, uh, they want to zero in on certain, they might want to zero in on certain issues that need to be tackled. But there are also people who just simply know the value of a child and they see a lot of these children everywhere uh, in, in communities all over the Philippines. I know a lot of people say, you know, there are kids in Manila just on the streets and all, but you go to other parts of the of the Philippines and you see kids also uh, maybe not doing the same thing, but they're not doing much. So if I believe that there are people who just simply want to become involved with the vision of UNICEF for the good of the children of the Philippines. And so and myself, we're just two people, and we can influence others, but people who are already in it can also go out and influence others. Get involved, go online, there are numbers to call, there's a lot of information that UNICEF is willing to give for people to truly understand what they're getting involved in and to see the value of what they stand for. So that for me is, is a way of, of, and then, of course, the events of, of and the, the projects that I have also make, make it Hopefully, it has an impact on people. Now, it doesn't have to be a burden to help people. It can be done in a joyful way because that, in the end, is what you're trying to give the children anyway, and the families also, that off of the children that we're trying to reach. So, putting all of that together, I think that uh, this is a good start. It's a, it's a change for good, and I think that it, as it continues and progresses, uh, people will capture what I'm saying as they become a part of change for them. Yeah. Sir, uh, we have a question here. Hi.